If you're broke, it means you're not doing what he told you to do. God is saying, I want money in your hand because you're going to steward it right. People ask me, E, we need God and we need money. What do you think? I said, hey, get as much as both of them as you can. You know, the whole references of, you know, it's easier yeah. for a camel to get through the eye of the needle than a rich man to get into heaven. Absolutely. What's your, what's your, what's your take on that? Um, maybe it is, but it doesn't mean you can't be rich. You know, it's just talking about the challenge of, you know, being wealthy in every area. So when people ask me, E, man, we need God, you know, and we need money, what do you think? I said, hey, get as much as both of them as you can. It doesn't have to be either or, mm -hmm. it could be both that. You can have a phenomenal relationship with God. I mean, you look at the Bible, you look at people like Abraham that was rich, mm -hmm. you know, Joseph sure. was wealthy, you know, I mean, you go down the line, Paul, Paul didn't even have to take money from the church, he was so wealthy. You know, so wealth is not, it's not an option. God says that, I, I pray that you prosper even as your soul prospers. That's two different things. That spiritually I want you to prosper, but also I want you in this earth to prosper as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you have to choose. Mm -hmm. I think you need to get as much as both as you can and you need to prioritize. Cause here's what I tell people. When my wife was diagnosed with MS, I couldn't put money over her. That was prayer. God, mm -hmm. I need you. Yeah. But when I go to the gas station, I can't pray over the pump. Th that requires currency. You know, so they, 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 they both are appropriate, you know, in their appropriate uh, perspective. Yeah. So when, uh, you know, believers in here are talking about, you know, tithings and offerings and giving money, but, but E.T., yo, I'm broke. Yeah. I and mean, what do you expect me to give? Yeah. I ain't got nothing to give. Absolutely. I'm broke. And yeah. by the way, I've been in that situation too Absolutely. as well. I've, I've been yeah. conflicted. Yeah. And you're broke because you're not giving. That's why you broke, because you're not stewarding. And there's a promise attached to it. It doesn't say if you are financially well off, bring ye tithes into the storehouse. It doesn't say if you're poor, don't bring it. It said bring ye your tithe into the storehouse where they might be meat in my house. And if you bring it, he said, and I will open up the heavens and pour out. So if you're broke, it means you're not doing what he told you to do and you're not getting the promises. So it doesn't mm -hmm. make you evil. It doesn't make you, I'm better than you because yeah. I pay tithe. Yeah. But it is saying that there are opportunities that I get because I'm returning a tithe that yep. people who don't return a tithe, you're not gonna get. And then he said, I'll rebuke the devourer for your sake. So not only am I gonna bless you, I'm going to keep the enemy from coming in and killing, stealing and destroying yep. what I give you. What was your money programming growing up? How did you view money? Um, you know, it was something that was, you know, for others. Wealth for, was something for others. You know, we kind of live, you know, from check to check, you know, um, wealth didn't belong to us. Like, you know, we could have money to survive, you know, and maybe somewhat strive, but not to thrive, you know? And so I was taught, hey, you live from check to check, you get a job, you rely on somebody else, you give them your best 30, 40 years, mm -hmm. you know, you, you're with your kids when you can be, you know, whenever they need you there, you're there and your priority is work, 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 work. Um, so it was, a, I had a working class mentality, you know, when I was growing up, I definitely didn't have a wealth mentality. I, I teeter top with poverty mentality. My mom would get mad at me, but for sure, a worker's mentality. Explain that. You know, just just meaning that, you know, we are supposed to work for somebody. We're supposed to take our gifts and our time and our talent and use it to make somebody else's dreams become a reality, you know? Um, we don't invest in our own dreams or our own goals, you know? Um, we, 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 we can't do things that cause us to take risk. We, we gotta stay in the safety zone. Yeah. You know, we've gotta do things that are uncomfortable. So mm -hmm. a job, you know, a nine to five, insurance, whatever. You know, and it's so funny, it's always enough to survive, but it's never enough to thrive. You know, that was right. the concept. You got enough to survive, yeah. but we never had enough you know, to put us in a position where we could go away for a month or you could go to all your kids' events, you yeah, know? Yeah. And it was just funny. It was like, I know when I was working at Michigan State, it was like, wow, my boss gets to come and go as she pleases. I don't get to go to my daughter's events when mm -hmm. she uh, gets an award, an academic award at school because I have to be at work. Even though no child, no, no college student is coming to my office at eight o'clock in the morning. Right, right. But I have to be there because, but my boss gets to come and go, you yeah. know, as she wants. And so, you know, I just realized she should get to come and go as she wants. Like she should have that luxury, but I should have it as well. I, I shouldn't have another human telling me that I can't go and enjoy my daughter yeah. and create these memories with my child. Let me tell you something. I had a friend rebuke me, um, a white male friend. And I just say that to put this in context, he did some uh, uh, mentoring with me and he said to me, Eric, how much money you want to make? And I was like, bruh, 
why is it that that's all y'all talk about? Money, 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 money. He said, I thought you was a Christian. I said, bro, what does that have to do with? Okay. This is about three, four, this is 2018. I was like, bro, what does that have to do with anything? He said, I thought you said you were a Christian. I said, I am. He says, well, don't you want to build churches for God? Don't uh -oh. you want to That's evangelize? There you go. Don't you put kids through school? I was there like, yeah. Go. He said, how many? I said, three. He said, you think God only wants ET to hip hop preacher to send three people to school? <laughs> he was like, bro, you think he wants it in a pimp hand or you want an ET to hip hop preacher hand? You, you think he wants it in a drug dealer's hand or you want it in Eric Thomas' hands? And I was like, wow, wow, that makes sense. So yeah. I'm on a quest to become a billionaire and not for me. Like I don't have expensive stuff and I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. That's just not my swag. But now I'm using my money, my wife and I, and a group of people who are able to renovate a, a medical facil facility and turn it into a church. Spent about a half a million dollars. You know, um, and it takes money. It took I mean, money, you, you and, and, do this and we were blessed to have money. it, and yeah. we're making investments now. Yeah. We're trying to get as much as we can because people like Bill Gates sent some of my students from Detroit who came to Michigan State to school. Bill Gates don't even know them, yeah. but he gave them an opportunity to go to school. Yeah. They didn't have the money to go on their own, so I'm like, yo, Bill Gates yeah. is sending kids from Chicago and Detroit, and yeah. he never been there. Yeah. Then what does God want you to do? Yeah. So yeah, more money, more, more money, money, more, more money. money. <laughs> Tell Dion when I when you see him, I said, yeah. must be the money. <laughs> must be the money. God is saying, yeah. I want money in your hand because you're gonna steward it right and you're gonna use it for my uh, to advance my cause. Yeah.